What up guys, welcome to this week's Dev Kit Weekly where we'll be taking off with the Launchpad Sensor Tag Kit featuring the dual band CC1352R Simple Link Wireless MCU from Texas Instruments. The Texas Instruments family of Launchpad development platforms has been around for quite some time, and they were some of the first kits available that really helped IoT developers get off the ground quickly with wireless designs. Well, this latest sibling takes wireless engineering to whole new heights, integrating the dual band multi protocol CC1352R Simple Link Wireless MCU that supports both 2.4 GHz technologies like Bluetooth, Bluetooth 5 Low Energy, Zigbee, and Thread, as well as sub GHz connectivity. That combination has some pretty big implications for IoT systems, as a single CC1352 RMCU allows devices to concurrently tap into local point-to-point -point networks, mesh networks, and or low power wide area networks with ranges of more than a kilometer. Surprisingly, the CC1352R enables this advanced networking functionality using just a single ARM Cortex M4F core that clocks in at a power sipping 48 megahertz. There's also 352 kilobytes of in-system programmable flash, 80 kilobytes of low leakage SRAM, and 250 kilobytes of ROM where users can store library function and protocols like the TI 15.4802.15.4 stack, 6 low pan, the MyOD standard, proprietary sub gigahertz stack, and the aforementioned 2.4 gigahertz options. Also housed in the ROM are drivers, a bootloader, and the TI RTOS kernel, which manages the multiple simul simultaneous network threads. Users can access the TI RTOS via APIs in the SimpleLink SDK that's provided for free with the Launchpad kit, but more on that later. On the radio side, the SimpleLink MCU obviously contains a multiband 2.4 and sub gigahertz RF transceiver that just so happens to be compatible with Bluetooth 5.1 low energy and earlier BLE specifications. There's also an 802.15.4 Phi and Mac. Despite all that's going on within the chip, it still delivers receiver sensitivities of negative 121 dBm for long range connections and negative 105 dBm at 125 kilobits per second for Bluetooth. Those figures are at output powers of just plus 14 dBm for sub gigahertz operations and plus 5 dBm for 2.4 gigahertz. Finally, in order to make sure the devices are secure without consuming any of the energy saved by those highly efficient radio components, the CC1352R also contains AES, ECC, RSA, and SHA cryptographic accelerators and a true random number generator. Focusing now on the kit as a whole, you'll see the launch pad has this plastic covering that slips off easily to reveal these 40 pin booster pack connectors that allow you to expand the launch pad sensor tag kit with one of dozens of booster packs available from TI. However, that's not to discount the sensors that are on board the CC1352R Launchpad Kit itself, which include TI's own temperature, humidity, ambient light, and Hall Effect sensors, as well as a MEMS accelerometer from analog devices. And just to continue to hammer home that low power emphasis, the CC1352R MCU contains an ultra low power sensor controller with four kilobytes of SRAM included, which helps keep the energy profile as low as possible. Elsewhere on the board, you'll also find a 10 pin ARM JTAG connector for debugging, debug cables are included, uh, and an eight megabit spy flash and a couple of push buttons and of course a few LEDs. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to mention that you'll actually need to send and receive long range signals with this thing, right? Uh, for that, you'd connect this SMA swivel antenna here. The 2.4 gigahertz PCB antenna is tucked away here on the board. Now in terms of software development, you work with the CC1352R through the SimpleLink SDK I mentioned earlier. And that's how you start accessing example projects that are pre-programmed on the CC1352R launchpad, like a Bluetooth 5 example that, just like last week's kit, pairs with an Android and iOS mobile app. Only this time, it's the SimpleLink starter smartphone app that allows users to read data from sensors and push buttons, toggle LEDs, and even perform over-the-air firmware updates. Other software examples focus specifically on the Dynamic Multi-Protocol Manager, or DMM, and show you how you can use TI 15.4, Zigbee, and Bluetooth Low Energy simultaneously to remotely monitor and manage sensor nodes or to turn on and off light switches. 
Other TI tools that can be used to optimize your design are SmartRF Studio, which helps with radio configuration, as well as Sensor Controller Studio that is designed to accelerate the creation of low power nodes. And I know this is a theme, but since I haven't mentioned it so far, I might as well now. This entire kit runs off either AAA batteries that slot into the bottom, And I know this is a theme, but since I haven't mentioned it so far, I might as well now. This entire kit runs off either AAA batteries that slot into the bottom side here, or a coin cell, but for that, you'd have to solder on a holder somewhere. Okay, that was all a detailed way of explaining that the CC1352R Launchpad is one of those awesome kits that demystifies most of the mysterious parts of IoT engineering. I mean, you have everything you need from an RF perspective, you've got an API accessible RTOS, you've got a companion smartphone application, and you can even power this thing up with your run-of-the-mill Energizer Bunny batteries. And in exchange, you only have to fork over 30 bucks. Or, thanks to this week's sponsor, DigiKey, 13 of you will be lucky enough to get one of these delivered right to your mailbox for free. To register for this week's raffle, for, let me say it again, one of the 13 of you that are gonna be winning. All you have to do is follow the link that's now on the screen or check it out in the description below. If you'd like to learn more about the CC1352R Launchpad, you can check it out on dev.ti.com or on our sponsor's website, digikey.com. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next week on DevKit Weekly.